Hey guys, so basically what happened yesterday was I was spray painting the pit bike. I'm pretty sure that video is just uploading at the moment. Um, yeah, it all went a bit wrong. For some reason the bike didn't start. That was annoying. Um, got a bit angry and chucked my phone. My phone's kind of broke a little bit. So, here is the pit bike. It doesn't. Wait. I always get a voice crack when I'm here. Um, as you can see, I've messed the paint up a bit. What I'm going to be doing today is taking it all off, everything, and just, I've barely got any spray paint left, so I don't even know if I can do this, but I'm going to do what it told me to do instead of what I did, and that's hold it 30 centimetres away and just do one, two, one, two, one, two across. To get even paint, because you can see I've sprayed it there and it's like a dispersed, and that on that side, it's all in the seat. Um, I honestly don't care about the bubbling anymore. I'm just gonna have to live with that, aren't I? Uh, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna buy new plastics for it anyway. So, yeah, I think the only piece that really went well was this. You can still see a little bit. You can see it's still dirty underneath, but yeah, the video that's uploading at the moment is just quick. I was annoyed I didn't edit it properly. I basically just shoved all the clips together and uploaded it. I don't even know if I've edited it properly, but we'll see, won't we? Alright guys, so as you can probably tell, it's a lovely day in England. It's raining a little bit and it's wet and it's cold. Uh, this is what the pit bike looks like in the light. Um, none of this is on properly, I've just put it on to see if I could start it last night. It's not attached, there's collars and stuff I need to put on. Uh, the main things that need doing are really the bars, there's still loads of green coming out of them. But I need to go, um, what's the word, economically with my spray paint I think. Yeah, look, there's a massive orange bit there. This is going to need to be fixed up. Um, yeah, if this doesn't work though, there are some plastics I found on Amazon that will fit this bike for like 15 quid. So, yeah, I'll get those on. I'll just respray these there, I'll just respray these. And then you can see them like that. Right, guys, so the bike is stripped down, all the bits are off, throttle's off, brakes are off, everything's off. Um, I don't know why it's not starting. I haven't actually tried to start it today, though. Oh, and I'm not going to until the bars are back on and all the plastics back on. I can't really go in the shed because it stinks too much. I've got the mask on, obviously, but yeah, what are you going to do? Is that cracked? No, it's not. Um, so yeah, that's all stripped down. I've repainted all the bits. The bars are dry in there. I've got the door open because it's really toxic in here. Like sting your throat toxic. So I have been outside 99% of the time. You can see on the seat, there's still some bits that are coming through. Obviously it was raining. It is raining out there. So it's a bit harder for me to do it because I've got to dry it all inside and have to paint them quickly. But that's coming through nicely. Uh, Okay, I've repainted that, 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 that. Basically, I've repainted everything. The mud guard was already alright, but I decided to give it another coat. I have run out of black paint now, though, so if these mess up again, there's not much I can do. So, those bits I'm not going to bother with filing and like sanding all the lumpy bits there because they don't really bother me that much. It's, it's not as bad as that one, and that one's bad. But yeah, what are you going to do? It's alright. It's, it's alright. So the bars are just drying there. I've got the, um, the lights just went down and... Okay. Yeah, sorry, the lights just like dip, so I turned it on and off. I was having that in my room last night as well, the lights going on and off. So, basically, it's all drying. I'm going to leave it a while to dry, give it 15, no, half an hour. Just let it all dry because when it's like 15 minutes, as you saw in the last video, if you've watched it, after like 15 minutes, the paint's rubbery and you can't really do much with it. I'm going to shove some tarp over that and I'm going to put all this stuff back inside so it doesn't get rusty. And I will see you guys again in half an hour and that will be when I'm putting the bike back together. Alright, guys, so it's about an hour and a half later. I went inside for a bit and then completely forgot about all of this. So. I've remembered now, and we are, well these I think are dry, they are, they're still like rubbery dry, but 
you are supposed to leave them for 24 hours, so I can't really complain too much. That's looking alright. Got this one. It's still got the. Not as visible though. It is still there though. Um, the that the bottom really needs to be painted, but it's not going to get painted because I run out of black. Um, I'd say that's the best piece. It's very black and it was very orange. So oh, the seat, very good. Um, well, I haven't really made a big difference. I mean, it's blacker, but it is. Well, at least it doesn't have like a knob on the side anymore. It's still got grey bits and black bits, but you can't complain too much. Uh, these pieces, the exhaust guard things, um, still bits of spec around, but you know, whatever. And this one, again, really lumpy, used to be green, uh, still streaks of grey, we haven't painted it properly. But you know what, I'm just going to shove these on now, I'm bored of this. Oh, look at this. Okay, that's nice. I'd say this is the best piece that's gone blue. These two are probably the best. Like, you can see that. Apart from, like, a strip down the middle that's slightly lighter blue. I think that piece looks really good with the... Ow, my thumb. Just clicked. I think this piece looks really good with the blue on it. Uh, there are a few cracks and chips. Which we're going to ignore. Um... Yeah, you know what, I might time lapse me putting it all back on the bike. But the bars, oh dear, the bars. Let's just, like. Okay, so the bars. That bit at the bottom is done nice and black, but grey. And, right, so this side's really black, and then it's grey up there. Uh, there's less green visible, which is good. I uh, don't need to worry about that right there, because the foot all goes over that anyway. Right, I say we put this all back together now. So all the plastics are on, they're painted a bit better, you can't see as much, oh, it doesn't really come out on camera, but you can't see as much, like, damage to the paint, and scratches, and bits we haven't painted properly, apart from like there, that is, there's shiny bits and there's not shiny bits, it has come out alright though, I think, apart from bits and bobs in places, 
And that's come out all right, but I really do wish. Like, imagine how good it would look. Black straight down the middle, and then blue down the side. That would look better. But sometimes stuff goes wrong. Um, so, something I found out recently is that this bike has a starter motor. So it is an electric start bike. It's just under there. If any of you have any idea how to wire that up, because I've got a few loose wires. I don't know where they came from. There's a hole. Wait for it. There's this whole thing here of just unconnected wires. I've just wedged that in that hole there because I assume it's all for the starter motor or brake lights or something. I don't know. No, that just lives in there now. Uh, yeah, there is a terminal on there if any of you know how to hook these things up. Let me know because that would be pretty cool to get this button here as an electric start. The throttle, brakes, everything's on. Uh, that stuff, the clamps are showing a bit in there, but I'll sort that out. Uh, there's not much, it's not much throttle play apart from that, and then some like that. I think the bike looks pretty good, like that. To be honest, I need to get the Honda thing back on the front, uh, make it look like a little CRF 50 with all Honda bits. I haven't cleaned it recently, which I probably should. Uh, yeah. Again, though, I don't think it's starting. But you never know until you try, and I haven't tried to start it today. So let's turn the field on, turn the choke off, on, everything. Everything you need to get it started. Right, this should start. If it doesn't, then, yeah. Spark plug. The wires like to fall off the, I can't remember what it's called, not the CDI, it's the, like the spark regulator sparky thing, not the ignition coil, but something else. Put some fuel into it first, hasn't been started in a couple of days, it shouldn't be a problem, but it might be. It might be flooded. Right, so let's isolate the problems one by one. It's either flooded, it's got no fuel, or it's got no spark. Or it's something that needs to be fixed properly. Our first I've gone with is no fuel, so I'm just putting some fuel into it. Okay, right, ready? It's not that. Next thing is flooded, so let's turn the fuel off and pump this with more fuel. I don't know what that was, I'm not I'm not gonna go there. Right, so that should have unflooded it. Let's turn the fuel back on. That all goes back in. No, check the engine oil quickly. Is new oil. I changed the one, changed the oil that the bike came with because I didn't like it. It was looking a bit black and misty and disgusting. So let's check for spark. Back in a sec, just getting the spanner. Right, so I've got a 16mm spanner. I don't have a 16mm spark plug tool. 
which is why I'm doing it over spanner. And let's just get this plug out quick. That wasn't done in very tight. There was compression though, so it, the problem won't have been that the spark plug was not in tight enough. And there's your problem. Straight away. Wet spark plug. Absolutely flooded spark plug. It stinks as well. I'll clean this and be back in a minute. Right guys, so I've cleaned the spark plug. Um, some people get a lighter and hold it over the spark plug. Don't do that, I don't think it's very good for it. I don't know, but I don't think it is. So I've cleaned it with a wire brush. I've got some tissue on it, got all the stuff out of it. So if this is going to go, it's going to go this time. Let me just check for a spark quick. The way you check for a spark is you connect the spark plug to the spark plug lead. You touch it to the exhaust or whatever's metal on the bike that's connected to the engine. I'm not seeing a spark. That could be a problem. Alright oh, guys, so if it's going to go, it's going to go now, like I said, nearly, check for compression, a lot of compression, enough compression. It's not too much, but it's enough. Right, so, problem, no spark. Um, I'll check the wiring up to the spark plug. This yellow one here likes to come off now and then, like that. Let's put that, see if we can get it back on. There you go. That's nice and on there. It's like a fuel leak. Got a fuel leak, but that's nothing that a little zip tie can't fix or a clamp. A clamp probably. Uh, that's all not too loose, but not too tight. Everything's connected. Is that connected? I don't think that's. There you go, that's back on. Um, that CDI, check the wiring. Give me a sec guys, I'll be I'll be back in a minute. So I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work. I've been looking about for five minutes. It's all nice and there, nice and there. I assume this thing's working. I I've no idea what it is. It might be a CDI, but that might be a CDI. I d I don't know. The wiring of these things, all I know is the wires that are the same colour need to be connected. So let's shovel this back together and See if it wants to start. It might just be the spark plug's gone, but I've had. That's a new plug, so it shouldn't. Alright guys, I have taken the spark plug out of the hole, and this lead here, let me find it on camera, there you go. This lead, well it can't be a problem with the wiring, so I know the lead works. Because if you listen when I kick it over, I know I shouldn't kick it over with no spark plug, but listen, you can hear it zapping. You can see it as well. Sometimes. You can hear it clicking like it's making a spark and it is because you feel it and it gives you an electric shock. It's a big electric shock as well. So I've just taken the spark plug out like I said and it's lovely and wet again. Focus. Focus. Right, so <laughs> I've got it to focus a bit. Sort of. The spark plug's all wet again. Spark plug. The spark plug is all wet again. So hopefully I'll be able to clean it and it'll go again. Or it might just be that the plug's dead. Right guys, it is about an hour later. I'm going to have to end the video because there's only two minutes left on the SD card. I got the bike running. It was flooded, then it was not flooded. Then it was getting no fuel, then it had no spark. Then I dropped the spark plug. 
to get a new one, which meant going somewhere to get a new one. Um, yeah, cool. The bike's going, that's what's important, and it looks okay. And it looks, I, I say it looks decent, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you know how to get these electric starts working. Just in there. Or link me to a video that shows you how to do that. Yeah, I've set the idle up because I need to leave the engine running. My theory to why it wasn't starting is because whenever I start it, I only start it for a couple minutes, then kill it. And that's not good for the bike. It doesn't let the spark plug warm up properly. So, yeah. Tell me what you think of the bike in the comments. I've spent a few days painting it now, getting it all nice. It's still not that nice, but getting it all nice. Uh, do you think it looks like a mini YZ? I don't. I think it needs to be white and blue. But it's just, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, guys. Um, yeah, still good. I'll see you guys.